University of Manchester, but it's a very specific little corner of the university because these machines are dedicated to serving another very, very special machine through there. It's a wind tunnel, but these winds will be travelling at hypersonic speeds, up to max six. That's six times the speed of sound. Now, obviously, that kind of performance involves the release and control of stupendous amounts of energy, which is why the, the actual wind tunnel itself isn't as big as big is something you might be used to. So, to go inside it, I have one mini orbiter with a pointy nose and one with a blunt nose. Costas Contis is the head of aerospace research. First, I want to see exactly why a pointy nose design is such a bad idea for the orbiter. I guess it's got to be fairly firmly fixed. Of course, because we don't want them to fly around. No, around. no, it's got it. What if, what if this tunnel goes off with my hands in there? Uh, probably you lose your hands. This is just blown away. Uh, of course, yes. I don't want that to happen. Let's get this done quickly. At these speeds, you can only see what's happening with an elaborate system of mirrors, lenses, and high-speed photography. So, if we can uh, switch off the lights, please. Yes. That's a lot of energy about to be released through there. That's right. Yes. A 3,700 mile an hour jet of air, to be precise. Fire! Strangely frightening. Well, let's get that image up and have a look. Right. So this is with a pointed nose. That's right. This is the yeah. exactly the same shot. The air around the nose is compressed so much that it forms a split-heated shock. So, thanks to a cannonball, that is best for re-entry. 